pulling data from Smartsheet from one sheet to another is something that you're gonna do all the time. So if you're spending a lot of time copying and pasting data from one sheet to another, or you're going into two different sheets to input data in both sheets, the same data in both sheets, then this formula is really gonna help out. The index match formula is probably one of the most popular formulas used in Smartsheet. We use it all the time with our clients when we're developing new projects for them because it makes pulling data from one sheet to another really, really easy. While there's multiple ways of pulling data from one sheet to another in Smartsheet, I really like this one most because you can use it in a formula, which means that we can pass different variables to that formula and we can get it to show us what we actually want it to see. So you likely have project data, things like uh, project name, project description, who the project manager is, the start and end dates stored on a single sheet or on a, a one sheet for all of your projects. And maybe you wanna pull that data in from that sheet into a totally separate sheet for whatever reason. Maybe it's for tracking, maybe it's for metrics. The index match formula requires that you have basically a key between both of your sheets. So that key can be anything. It can be the name of the project. It can be the number that you've assigned to that project. If you're working with inventory, it can be the SKU for those inventory items. Or if you're working with employee information, it can be that employee's ID number or the employee name. So let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you how to use the index match formula in Smartsheet. So in my workspace, I have two different sheets. I have my source sheet, which contains all the information about all of my customers. So I have my customer account number, uh, my name, my address, city, state, and zip for all of my customers. So this is the source sheet. So this is where we're gonna be pulling our data from. And then we also have the destination sheet. So on the destination sheet, I have things like those orders that customers have placed, their customer account number, the details of their order, and then I wanna pull in their customer name from our source sheet. So the first thing that we have to do before we, before we enter in our index match um, formulas is we've got to right click anywhere on the screen and choose manage references. So when we do that, this is our reference manager. So anytime you hear anyone talk about cross sheet references, this is what we're talking about, this sheet reference manager. So in here, we've got to create a cross sheet reference over to that sheet, our source sheet here. So once we click on source sheet, it's going to show us the contents of that source sheet. And then it's going to ask, okay, well, what reference are you looking to create? Well, the first thing that I want to create is my customer account number as a reference. Remember, I mentioned that these are keys. This is where our key is going to be. So this is the, the value that lives in both sheets that we're going to use to connect those sheets together. So I like to give my, uh, my references names that actually mean something. So I usually start with something like the sheet name and then I'll give it the column name of what I'm, uh, what I'm referencing. So we'll call this source number. And then we'll click the insert reference button. So that's our connection to our source number, our, our customer account number. Now we also need another connection to our customer name field in our source sheets. So the way we do that is right click, choose manage references again, click on create. Now this time it drops us straight into our sheet. We didn't have to navigate to it. Uh, so from here, we can go to, we can use our customer name field, highlight the customer name column, make sure you're highlighting the entire column and not just single uh, cells within this sheet. So I want to highlight the entire column and then we're going to call this one source name, click our reference, insert reference button. So now we have two sources. So if we right click again and we choose manage references, we'll see that we have those two sources listed here. Both of them go to uh, the same sheet and we've got the number and the name. So we're gonna use what we name these things in our formula. So let's see what that, that index match formula looks like now. So customer number. So we're gonna start off with, uh, sorry, the customer name field. So we're gonna start off with the index is the first part of this formula. So what I really like about Smartsheet is it gives you kind of these tips and tricks along the way as you are entering your formulas. So the first thing that the index is asking for is what's the range? So for me, the range means what are you trying to bring back? What are you trying to display in your customer name field? So for us, that's source name. So anytime we have a cross sheet formula, we're going to wrap it in these curly brackets. Let me get back in there. We're going to wrap it in these curly brackets right here that tells Smartsheet that that's a cross sheet reference. 
So we're going to start with our source name, then we're going to add in a comma. So once we add in the comma, then we're going to move on to our match formula. So M-A-T-C-H for our match formula. We're going to open that up with parentheses. And the match formula asks, okay, what value are, going to, are you going to use to search for? So what's the known value that we're going to use? And our known value is going to be our customer account number here. So I'm just going to click over customer account number and it's going to give me customer account number at row for this particular row, which is exactly what I want. Now I'm still in the match formula. So if we click in the match formula again, it's going to ask, okay, well, what range are you going to look this thing up in? So for me, the range is going to be the source number reference that we created earlier. So we're not, so our match is saying, okay, I'm going to take what you have in the field that already exists on this sheet. And I'm going to go look for it in your source number reference on your destination sheet, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Now, the last thing that, that I always put in here, it's not a requirement for the match uh, formula, but the one thing that I put in at the end is usually a zero. So if you read through down here, what this means is if your data is in a, a, a sort order, so from ascending all the way up or descending all the way down, or if it's in no order what's whatsoever, you can use one, negative one or zero to tell it what you wanna return. In our case, we're looking for an exact match on this thing. So I'm gonna enter in zero so that way it, it exactly matches our customer account number with our uh, customer account number in our source sheet. Okay, so we have our, our pink parentheses here that closes out our match. So we need one more parentheses in here, which is now gonna close out our index. So if we hit enter, we'll see that our customer name for Agme Bricks is pulled into our from our uh, customer account number field here. So the last thing that we have to do is to right click on our, on our cell. We'll go down to convert to column formula and that should bring in all of the, the customer names for all of our customer account numbers that are listed on our source sheet. So now you can see that by using that index match formula, the amount of time that you can be able to save, right? So there's there's no need to copy and paste data from one sheet to another any longer. There's no need to go through uh, two different sheets to add in that same data. If you're looking for more ways to save time, hit that subscribe button. So that way you can see some of the other videos that we have coming out. And then if there's somebody on your team that you think needs to see this, somebody that might be working in Smartsheet alongside of you, feel free to hit the share button. See you next time.